Well, today for Leslie's birthday, we're going on our very first ever airboat ride. Yes. And hopefully we'll see some gators. It's a little um, early in the season. It's not summertime yet, but they also have a gator ranch here. Yeah. These gators are out because they yeah. live here. Well, hopefully we'll get to see some out in the wild. It's but either a beautiful way, sunny day. I think they will be out sunning. Yeah, I hope yeah. so. But either way, it's just gonna be really cool to be on the airboat. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let's do it. Let's do it. hold my hair. <laughs> What did you think about your first airboat ride? It was fun. It was so that was a much lot fun. of fun. I feel like I need an airboat in my life now. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know why it took us so long to ever to go do this. on one. Yeah. Uh, Cause we've been through several areas that have airboats and I guess, I don't know, we just, the, the areas we were in, it was, it was still too cold, I guess. It was still yeah too cold winter here. Even in Florida, we got the Everglades, but it was yeah. still too cold to go and, out. And the captain said that, you know, later in the summer, there'll be way more gators out and yeah. about. There was only a couple out that we got to see today, but, but it was fun just riding the boat. Yeah. And spinning and drifting and uh, it was yeah. just really cool. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Got a little spray and cooled <laughs> yeah. down. And it was fun. Yeah. Um, it. And it's a beautiful day today. It's like Couldn't 72, ask for a day. 73 degrees. Yeah. Sun is shining. Just awesome. They have a little gator farm here. So, I got um, some big, big gators. What blew me away is that Katrina yeah. brought water a foot above the bridges that we went under while we were out there on the boat. So that's, that's high water. Yeah. Lost 200 gators. Yeah. only recoup 25 of them yeah you see the fence right behind us the water from katrina was over these fences and some of these fences were destroyed and um yeah over 200 gators uh, they're just gone somewhere it's like 175 <laughs> gators relocated to god knows where that's yeah. crazy it is kind of it's, it's scary too <laughs> yeah. there's some big gators out here yeah uh, we're gonna walk through the uh through the rest of the farm we'll show you the rest of the these are the gators that are in captivity the ones we saw on the airboat were out in the wild yeah. These here in the farm are um, in habitats, yeah. but uh, we'll walk through and we'll show you the gators here. Okay. So if you're if you're ever out here at this, uh, I just now looked at it. I just now looked at it. 
do it. If you're ever out here at the Gulf Coast Gator Ranch in Moss Point, Mississippi, which is right on the border of Mississippi and Alabama, yeah. definitely stop in here. Uh, I think it was like 30 bucks a person bucks, yeah. to ride the airboat, but that, that includes getting to see the ranch and all the alligators too. So yeah. it's all inclusive, one, one thing, 30 mm -hmm. bucks each, but um, well worth it. Yeah, I'm glad we came out. It's a half hour boat ride. Uh, you get to see some wildlife out there, gators mm -hmm. and turtles and uh, he feeds marshmallows to the turtles, or, Tur uh, marshmallows to the gators. Tur Tur guy was funny. He was, yeah, a, he was, he was a cool guy. Yeah, and, and previous uh, prior military, so, yeah, uh, so had a good very time cool guy. Him. Had a good time out here, so if you're in the area, definitely check it out. We'll leave a link in the description below. And now we're off to the next adventure. Yeah, and, <laughs> and next year, my birthday wish will be to have an airboat. Okay. <laughs> airboat ride? Now an airboat. Or an airboat. Uh, no, I want an airboat now. Okay, I don't know how we're going to tow that around with the RV, but... <laughs> go toy hauler. <laughs> what do you got in the back of your toy hauler? Airboat. Airboat. <laughs> <laughs> well, today we are at the uh, home and uh, museum of Jefferson Davis. Yes. First and only president of the Confederates. Mm -hmm. And um, this is in Biloxi, Mississippi. Right by I, the water. I had no idea you had a home here. I didn't either. Until we got here and started yeah. looking for stuff to do. But it's really cool because when we were in Virginia, we got to visit his grave. Yeah. So now we'll get to kind of learn right a little in. bit more about him and his life and his, his presidency his... and all that stuff. So. Yeah, because I don't know much about him. I really don't either, other than what we learned in history in, yeah. in school. But, um, yeah, look, you know, controversial, especially right now, the times we live in. Yeah. On whether to, you know, share stuff about the Confederacy. But, um, hey, it's part of history. So, part of um, history, and we want to learn more. Yeah, it's, it's interesting stuff. And I'm a history buff guy anyway, so yeah. I love this stuff. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Um, I don't know which... I think this is the house over here. Yeah. We'll show you through the house, through the museum. Um, 10 bucks to get in for military. $12.50 if you're not. Yeah. Um, and we'll let you know if it's worth it. Yeah. It's cool. crap information overload yeah that was a lot oh my gosh it's supposed to be a, a 30 minute tour our tour guide it took an hour yeah through the jefferson davis house about the original purchase who the original owners well, were from the builder their the stories owners who it got sold to for how much it got sold to the reason for the layout of the house uh the little houses on the front i i, I don't even know i can't regurgitate any of the information <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot. It was so much. And but he talked for the whole hour. Yeah. yeah. So I can't tell you any of the information. You got to just come here and see it for yourself. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Beautiful house. And this was, he only lived here. Jefferson Davis only lived here for a couple of years. Yes, yeah. And it was just a vacation home. And it's crazy the way that he got it. The parts that I do remember because yeah. the woman who owned it really close with the with the davis family well, and very smart yeah. business minded woman yeah because after the civil war and the confederates lost the civil war jefferson davis and general lee were stripped of their citizenship so they can't vote and they can't own property in the united states yeah. so the the owner here was renting out one of the little houses to jefferson davis while he was writing a book yeah about she was the, assisting with. the rise and fall of the confederacy yeah. and yeah she was assisting with and he was just renting the little house out here 
but she was dying and knew she was dying and she wanted to sell him the property he didn't really want to buy the property even though he couldn't buy it anyway but his family could have could have purchased it and so when she died she willed it to the davis family, family. to the family yeah not her family yeah, and she couldn't will it to him because he's not a citizen. Yeah. And he can't own property. Yeah. But it was just it was just so interesting, the it whole story was. of it. That's just a, a two minutes of the entire hour. <laughs> but that's the, one of the very interesting parts of it and yeah. how Jefferson Davis came to own this property. Man, just so many great stories. That the, he worked he he worked land yeah. and cleared things and wouldn't do anything for free. Yeah. That that was interesting. He wanted to, he would to, not to earn allow his keep. Anybody to just give him anything. Well, she didn't even want to charge him rent. He yeah, insisted, insisted that, that he, he paid, paid his rent. Way. Yeah, and a, a couple other just real things that quickly popped into my mind. The clock. As soon <laughs> yeah. as you walk into the door. The history of that clock. Man, the history of that clock. The clock was manufactured at the time General Washington was still General Washington. Yeah. It was owned by Zachary Taylor, and Zachary Taylor then gave it to Jefferson Davis. It was meant to be a wedding gift down the road, yeah. but then he died before he could. Because little known fact, I didn't even know that Zachary Taylor was the father-in-law of Jefferson Davis. Davis. Jefferson yeah. Davis married Zachary Taylor's daughter. daughter, and then three years <laughs> into their marriage, she, she died, died of malaria. And Jefferson Davis got malaria and went blind in his left eye. Did you know Jefferson Davis was blind, <laughs> blind in his left eye? I did not I know, didn't that. know that. Yeah. <laughs> just all these cool little facts, man. Yeah. But. Um, way more than that, um, you got to just come see it. If you're yeah. in the Biloxi Gulfport area, come into to the, the Jefferson Davis the house. History, it's very, very cool stuff. Very intriguing. Yeah. And that, we haven't even been into the museum yet. We're going the, in the there library. now. Yeah, yeah, we haven't been in the yeah, library or the museum. So we're going there now. We'll take you with us. Okay. Well, now we're standing inside of one of the little houses. Yeah. Which was a schoolhouse mm -hmm. before Jefferson Davis owned the property. Mm -hmm. But when Jefferson Davis first moved out here, he lived in this little house and this, we're, we're standing on the spot where he wrote the rise and fall of the Confederacy. Yes. That's crazy <laughs> to me. It is crazy. I, I know you're thinking like, no, oh, so what? But to me, that's a, that's, I geek out on stuff like this. I'm a yeah. history guy. Well, so. uh, yeah, military and, history. And military. So to be standing on the spot where, where a, a piece of literature like that was written by the president of the Confederacy. Yeah. That's crazy. And these books. I mean, yeah. you can smell the old book. The, and smell. these are, these are, crazy. these are legit <laughs> books. Yeah. Part of, of his library uh, that, that were in the house that are now out here mm -hmm. on display. But um, it's insane. It's crazy. <laughs> the hearse mm -hmm. for President Jefferson Davis after he died was transported through town to get put on the train and then of course we know he's buried up in Richmond because we were there We've been there yeah um, so very cool history there's some very cool stuff in the cases here that we can't show you because there are reflections it doesn't film well uh, mm -hmm. but some first editions of the of rise book. and fall of the Confederacy some other first editions Edition. some very old books uh, uh, Huckleberry Finn first edition. That's, That's crazy. crazy. I don't even know what kind of price tag that thing has, but um, it's definitely something you got to come see in person because you just can't explain the some of yeah. the stuff we can't show you, and then some of the stories we can't <laughs> retell you, yeah. and um, just some of the feelings that you have while you're here. You can't re, re um, I just can't express those through the camera. So yeah. if you're down here, you definitely got to come see it. Mm -hmm. This is the Jefferson Davis Exercise Rock. And said that Jefferson Davis used to take this rock, set it on this stump, 
out in front of the house and he would go out and lift this rock as exercise. The rock weighs about 90 pounds. I'll show you a picture of the, uh, the house with the stump and the rock in front of it. Did you have a good birthday? I did. Yeah? Uh-huh. So airboat's one of your favoritest things to do now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> both those things are really cool. The airboat thing and the Jefferson Davis yeah. house, both yeah. really cool. Yeah. Uh, we did do some more stuff in the Gulfport Biloxi mm -hmm. area. It just uh, it was so much that we didn't get it into one video. So the rest of that stuff we're going to put over on the Patreon page. Yeah. So if you haven't joined us on Patreon yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Links in the description. <laughs> Go join us on Patreon. You can see all this cool, exclusive, behind-the-scenes stuff and extra video stuff yeah. that we don't share on YouTube. Duh. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> but they were both really cool. Yeah. Um, it's already a pretty long video, so I don't want to sit here and talk too much. But uh, good time. Both mm -hmm. worth doing. Absolutely. And then we did learn after the fact that the airboat place is also a Harvest Host. Yes. So you can stay there in Boondock. Overnight, then go. Which should be like everywhere. cool and creepy all at the same yeah, time. Yeah, gators are right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, very cool. But um, yeah, if you're in the area, go see both of those. Both we're mm -hmm. seeing. We weren't able to show you everything, obviously. So, and um, the yeah. camera just doesn't do anything justice anyway. No, it so. never does. Uh, but um, add them to your list mm -hmm. of places to hit along That's the right. Gulf Coast. Yeah. Very fun. You like to gamble. All you can handle. Yeah, we didn't do any gambling in Gulfport mm -hmm. or Miss or uh, or Biloxi, but yeah. uh, we did go eat at the Hard Rock for your birthday. Yes, we did. And the slab of ribs is like yay long, <laughs> like Fred Flintstone ribs. Yeah, it is really good, <laughs> but uh, very cool area. Lots of stuff yeah. to do, and uh, we're gonna end it for now. Mm -hmm. uh, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you want to see all the ways that you can help us help vets while we're on the road. Everything you need to know is in the description of this video. We appreciate you watching. See you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.